When constructing an image by collecting light, the resolution of that image will be limited by the diffraction limit of light. As defined by the Abbey limit, the maximum resolution is the wavelength of light measured divided by 2. So, if we are measuring light from a particle smaller than the Abbey limit, we will not be able to resolve the shape of that particle. Super resolution can break the diffraction limit of light. If one dye molecule on a nanoparticle is excited, the fluorescence intensity will resemble a topographic map. In 3D, this resembles a mountain. The location of the dye molecule is approximated as the peak of the mountain, identified by fitting the intensity to find the peak. The peak is then labeled to plot one point on an image. The process is then repeated to excite other dye molecules in the particle, and many points are plotted to form an image of the particle with much better resolution than the diffraction limit of light. A problem arises when more than one dye molecule is excited. The intensity of the fluorescence from two dye molecules causes a maxima between the two peaks, distorting the image created by finding the peak intensity. One solution to this problem is to use paint, or point accumulation for imaging nanoscale topography. Another problem arises. How do we only excite molecules at the surface? The solution is another acronym, TERF or Total Internal Reflection Fluorescence. TERF arises from Snell's Law. When light from one medium enters another, some of it is reflected and some is transmitted depending on the incident angle. Solving Snell's Law, we see that if the incident angle is higher than some critical angle, all of the light is reflected. For a TERF excitation, a laser is completely reflected at the interface where par particles are deposited. This creates an evanescent wave that decays roughly 100 nanometers into the sample. The evanescent wave excites the dye molecules that come close to the interface and interact with the particles. Paint measures interactions between dye molecules and particles to create a super resolution image. A dye molecule diffuses in and absorbs to the nanoparticle surface. It is excited by the evanescent wave and fluoresces. When it desorbs, it diffuses out of the evanescent wave and no longer fluoresces. The paint method was pioneered by the Hochstrasser group at University of Pennsylvania in 2006. They measured micelles with lipid bilayers with aqueous and hydrophobic regions. When the dye Nile Red was in the aqueous solution, the fluorescence was quenched. When it diffused into the hydrophobic region, it fluoresced. This fluorescence was used to map the hydrophobic region of the lipid bilators as a super-resolution image. DNA paint is a variation of paint that uses dye-labeled DNA to measure interactions between DNA strands. Nanostructures can be built out of DNA. Docking strands with a specific DNA sequence can be built into these structures. An imager strand of complementary DNA labeled with a dye molecule can temporarily bind to the docking strand and fluoresce. This fluorescence is used to create a super resolution image of the DNA structure. Paint can also be used to measure nanoparticle catalysts. A non-fluorescent molecule can diffuse to the surface of a catalyst particle and be converted to a fluorescent particle by a redox reaction. The fluorescence event is recorded and the dye molecule diffuses back into the solution where it is no longer excited. For this form of paint, the fluorescence is used to create a super resolution image but also extract time and rate constants of the reaction and catalyst particle activity. Thanks for watching this video on super resolution and paint.